Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to honor the special friendship between the United States and Israel and to welcome Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu before his address on the challenges facing our two nations. In their campaign of unparalleled savagery, the radical Islamic terrorists known as ISIS have made the slaughter of innocent Christians a priority. In the face of this senseless violence, Israel stands as a beacon of safety. To end this barbarism, the United States, Israel, and all our allies should develop a long-term strategy to wipe ISIS off the earth. The United States and Israel are also confronted with the potential emergence of a nuclear Iran. Like Israel, our government should keep all options on the table to prevent this outcome. In facing these and future challenges, our nation is fortunate to call Israel a friend. Israel and the United States share common ideals of freedom, justice, and fair elections by the people in a republic. I welcome Prime Minister Netanyahu back to Congress, and I look forward to his remarks on protecting our shared values against terrorism and a nuclear Iran. I yield back my time.